How many times has it, oh, it's been tested, huh? Hello and good evening. Welcome to our Wednesday, October 26, 2011 town hall meeting for Los Angeles. First time here at the USC campus. I know there's only a handful of us here, but we're gonna go ahead and actually just spend some time getting to know each other a little bit. The actual presentations will probably start at about 7.10, 7.15. So for those of you who may have managed to get into the parking structure without paying the parking attendant, some of us did. It was very easy to do. You just turned and went in. Assuming we'd park afterwards, if they find your vehicle, it's between $80 to $150 fine. So if you bypass the guard shack and they go looking for you, they'll, they'll tag you. So some of us already have run out, found the guard shack, paid the guy the $8, and we're good. So you've got a 15, 20 minute leeway if any of you fell into that category. The other thing too is any communication devices, if you can put it on quiet, vibrate, or turn it off, whatever you'd like to do with that, that'd be great. Uh, my name's Eva, and I'm one of the Los Angeles coordinators for the Zeitgeist Movement here in LA. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna do a very brief as far as what's gonna be on the agenda. I think most of you probably saw it up either on the state side or on the local side, or if you grabbed a program on your way in. We're gonna have Jason Lord, who is the state coordinator for California, doing a presentation, very specific on some of the technology information. And then also Mr. Peter Joseph, and he will be doing a broader stroke view of the movement and what's going on in the world today. In the meantime, we're gonna take a few minutes. With all the things that are going on in the world today, it's hard to not know that there's a lot of activity going on amongst people who see the problems and whether it's directly affecting them or they've been watching the global landscape, there's a very pronounced surge of people taking active interest, as in actually getting out from behind the laptop or getting out of their homes and meeting each other, much as we're doing now here. So what I wanna do is first introduce one of the other Los Angeles coordinators. He's welcome to talk about whatever he'd like to, but also we've had a couple of travelers, people that have been able to experience a little bit more what's going on across the US and their personal experiences regarding some of the activities that are going with activism and what's going on in the world today. So first, let me introduce Brandon Christie. Hey everyone, thanks for coming out. Thanks for caring and being interested in social change. Uh, we're having these town hall meetings every month. We try to. We just got finished with a media festival. I don't know how many people made it out there. Uh, it's incredible what we did. We've had quite a ride for the past two years learning how to coordinate and do activism. And we have a lot of people doing a lot of different things in our chapter. Uh, I mean, we're, we've been at the, uh, we, we do online stuff. Uh, we do physical activism. We do banner stuff. We hold banners over freeways. Uh, we're on campuses, we're in education. To me, this is you know, completely educational, what the Zeitgeist Movement is. It is an educational movement, uh, communication movement, and that's what our task is right now, is a huge communication uh, task. So uh, that's one of the main things I focus on, is trying to learn how to communicate this stuff, because it's, it's really hard to um, get this across to people sometimes, as you guys probably know. Anyways, um, yeah, my name's Brandon, I coordinate this uh, chapter with, with Eva, and for anybody who doesn't know who's not sure what the Zeitgeist Movement is, uh, we really kind of are trying to unite the species as profound and huge as that sounds, that's what we're trying to do, unite the species under common value. And those common values are, you know, things like sustainability and what actually is healthy and what can get us going in the right direction. Uh, human progress is never an easy thing. It, it, it takes people coming under together under a common value set. And um, there's so many different causes and opinions and groups out there and movements and, and uh, you know, groups and, and, and things going on. It's, it's hard to really kind of focus in on one area where we can all move together ahead in, in unity. So that's, kind of, we put everything together. The Zeitgeist Movement is just really one big uh, it, it just puts everything together, and that's really why I advocate it all the time. It's really, it, it's, I don't really know of anything else that can put, that has everything together in, in one piece, so um, call it what you will. As far as uh, what we're trying to do with the chapter, we're trying to engage people 
you know, engage people's values and and uh, get them to get get the culture to accept you know sustainability and and uh, uh, doing the right thing, coming you know, uh, contribute social contribution, make these things big parts of the culture because right now it's kind of absent and people are distracted and it's kind of confusing out there. Um, so I guess I can bring on some other people so they can talk about what they're doing. Uh, who should we bring on, Eva? Just briefly, to talk about doing the right thing. This is something for those of you who picked up the program on the way in. This is a quote. Cowardice asks the question, is it safe? Expediency asks the question, is it politic? Vanity asks the question, is it popular? But conscience asks the question, is it right? And there comes a time when one must take a position that is neither safe, nor politic, nor popular, but one must take it because it is right. And that's a quote from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And in regards to what people are finding the right thing to do, that's part of what we address here. And I'd like to introduce, sure, <laughs> come on up. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Charlene, and I'm an event coordinator for the Zeitgeist Movement. And I've also been on a little bit of an informal Occupy tour uh, related to work. I was uh, at Occupy LA for the kickoff, and then up to Santa Barbara for the kickoff of Occupy Santa Barbara, and then over to Santa Fe, New Mexico for the kickoff of theirs. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. And it's interesting to see what's happening. Um, what I've noticed that's the same in all of them is um, a full range of people, every type of people. And it seems like there's such a craving for community. And people are coming together and everyone's asking, well, what do they stand for? Because it's really easy to see what everyone's against. Um, in fact, that's probably how it was easy to unify. As, as it's not, it doesn't take much effort to see what's wrong in the world. And so you see all the signs for all the different issues. Uh, what we in the Zeitgeist Movement are advocating at the Occupy movements, and, and just generally speaking, is um, a redesign of our culture and the way we uh, set up society. And a lot of the angles at the Occupy movement tie into this when they talk about the monetary system, the greed, and, and the way it's so unjust in our society. And you'll hear a couple of presentations after me uh, from Jason and Peter describing what's called a resource-based economic model. And um, that is where it, we take care of each other and animals, the earth, and all living things, which is the most loving and humanitarian thing you can do. So we're just trying to insert that into the conversation at these Occupies to show the alternative after you protest what you're against, what are you for? And that's what we've been advocating. I want to share with you, uh, there was a statement released today from Cairo in solidarity with the Occupy movement. And one thing I, that they said I thought was really interesting is, we're not protesting. Uh, who is there to protest to? What, what could we ask them for that they could grant? We are occupying and we are reclaiming the public space and changing the, the conversation and culture, really. Um, th it seems like with Obama, it was the last uh, hope for a leader to change anything or use the political process to affect change. And um, one other thing that Cairo said, which I thought was great, is they said, we're all watching one another now. And from Cairo, we want to say that we are in solidarity with you and we love you for what you're doing. So it seems like people are really understanding that it's, it's more than just a piece of legislation or a political leader to do anything. Um, it's like Krishnamurti said, Peter has it in his films of, um, there are no more leaders, there are no more gurus, there are no more teachers. We're all the teachers, we're all the leaders, we're all the gurus. Um, one other thing, I read a quote, um, Marianne Williamson, a uh, lecturer and author, spoke at Occupy LA twice, and she brought up a really good point that Dr. Martin Luther King said, is that when the de desegregation of the American South was the political goal of the civil rights movement, but the deeper goal was the establishment of the beloved community. And I think that there's really nothing more beloved than to take care of each other. And as you, it, once you learn about a resource-based economy, you'll see that it's the most beloved thing you can do is take care of each other. And so I think there's a real spirit, uh, there's a real awakening in the collective consciousness right now towards that. And I think um, there's that 
urge to join with others in, in, in working towards a better world. So I want to welcome you here today, and you'll be introduced to some concept that, that might be new to you, but um, just know that it's a good alternative from what we're living in now. So thank you for being here, and I'm going to introduce Solomon, who is another um, very active uh, Occupy LA um, advocate, and he's coming up right now. He's actually going to be teaching yoga there this Sunday at 9 in the morning. <laughs> hey, how's everyone doing? Awesome. Well, thank you for letting us know. We'll get on top of it as soon as possible. Thank you for showing up. That means a lot, you guys. This is the hardest part is coming and, and showing and being a part of this. Um, this movement is bigger than just the Zeitgeist movement, but, but you're here and, and that's the first step. And uh, I don't really have anything planned, but I'm just 